You're watching Lehigh Valley Sports Scene on Service Electric Tube Sports. Turn our attention to uh, tennis in the Colonial League. Saucon Valley had their first match of the season Saturday where they had a successful 5-0 sweep against Penargel. They hit the courts again yesterday hosting the Salisbury Falcons in a Colonial League matchup. Breland Moore was in Hellertown has the recap. The Saucon Valley boys tennis team hosted Salisbury yesterday afternoon. First up in number one single sophomore John Yurkanik serves for Salisbury. Sierney Laliwala with the return, but Yurkanik grabs the point with a cross court kill. Yurkanik yet again on the serve, Laliwala with the volley, but this will be Yurkanik's point. Salisbury will win first singles as Yurkanik takes both sets by a score of six to nothing. Second singles now, Saucon Valley's David Mason is up against the Falcons' Mason Jeff. David Mason with the forehand shot for the point. However, this matchup will be much closer than the number ones as these two battle back and forth all afternoon. The two players will exchange cross-court shots before Jeff finishes with a drop shot. It's a close one, but Salisbury will take this matchup as well with set scores of 7-6 and 6-2. On to three singles, Saucon Valley's Michael Vidal grabs an ace and takes both sets for the Panthers' first victory of the day. Here's a look at the first set of doubles. Chris Thompson and Adam Prager are up against Salisbury's Aaron King and Eric Bond. The Falcons hit the ball into the net and Saucon will take this in two sets, both 6-2. The Panthers would also take the second doubles matchup in three sets. The final score for the day, Saucon Valley 3, Salisbury 2. I was really looking forward to a tough competition. We played them last year and they're solid and they had so many of their players returning and the Iconics and Goffs are just great little players come a long way so I knew we were in for a battle so for us to come away with a win today uh, I'm very pleased. Yesterday's matchup presented problems to players on both teams as cool temperatures and 26 miles per hour winds affected serves, bounces and the athletes themselves. Well, I mean right away you could see the weather conditions were going to play a factor you just you couldn't get mad at yourself if you missed a shot I mean the wind it, it was a huge factor out there and you had to play the wind um, it, it wasn't that cold, but uh, you just had to go out there, have fun, uh, make sure you make your serve. That's a big part of it, and uh, just don't get frustrated at yourself. Well, the weather definitely plays a factor uh, for for everyone. Uh, our match on Friday was great because it was outdoors, granted, but it was warm and no wind. Today we had gale winds here, uh, as you could see if you watched any of the matches. Very difficult for the boys, I think, to compete in this kind of situation. Quite a hectic week this week for both teams as Saucon Valley plays six teams in the next eight days, ending with Liberty on Saturday. Salisbury, the same thing going on. They play three teams in the next four days, ending with Hamburg on Saturday as well. We play every day this week. We have Liberty on Saturday. Tomorrow we have Southern Lehigh. That'll be another battle. Uh, then we have Notre Dame, East Strasburg, Wilson, and then uh, Liberty on Saturday. So for these kids, I think the weather is part of the problem, but some of it is the scheduling where we just got so many matches in a row. So I'm, I'm look, looking forward to see how my guys hold up. I think physically they're going to hold up fine. Mentally that gets a little tough. So we'll see. On the scene in Hellertown, I'm Breland Moore for Two Sports.